This right here is a 1978 Ford Falcon Cobra. It's actually a pretty rare car, one of only 400 made, and it is a proper Australian muscle car. Now Ford Australia produced the Falcon from 1960 through to 2016, and during its lifespan there were seven different generations of the model. The very early cars were basically right-hand drive versions of the American Falcon, but pretty quickly the Aussies began to make it their own. Now in 1972, the third generation Falcon was launched, and this was the first Falcon to be Australian designed. It was also the first Falcon to be offered with a two-door hardtop body shell, and that's what this right here is. The word is acceleration. The feeling, supreme. New Falcon hardtop. A driver's car. Strong, rugged, built with unmatched performance and stamina. With low aerodynamic design, wide track, superb road holding, and the great open air feeling of sweeping, pillarless design. Hardtop is your kind of car. Driving is believing. Falcon Hardtop, the supreme machine. Falcon 500, Fairmont, GT. Going forward is the going thing. Now, initial sales of the hardtop were actually pretty strong, but by 1978 they were really beginning to fade. And this was a problem for Ford because the very next year, 1979, it was launching its all new fourth generation Falcon. And what it didn't need was a surplus of these body shells lying around still. Now, Edsel Ford II was actually managing director of Ford Australia at the time. And he's still pretty young, probably 29, 30 years old or so. And it was actually Edsel who came up with the Cobra Falcon concept. Now, obviously, inspiration came from Shelby Mustangs of the 60s, and probably to a lesser extent, I would say, the second generation Cobra Mustang, which was a pretty popular car in the USA at the time. Now the idea for the Falcon Cobra was that it be exclusive, it was a limited edition vehicle, only 400 were made and that was largely because that's roughly how many of these hardtop body shells they still had sitting there. Each car was individually numbered, each had its own special plaque and the concept worked really well. They sold all 400 cars and today these are a real collector's item. So for all the Aussies and Kiwis watching this, you'll recognise this car straight away, but for everyone else, this is what a Ford Falcon Cobra looks like. Uh, so even though this was an Australian designed car, you can see pretty clear influences from Ford's American models, and in particular the second generation Torino. Um, two cars are quite similar looking in, in quite a few ways, but the Falcon is actually smaller. It's got a 111 inch wheelbase, whereas the Torino has a 117 inch wheelbase. But pretty clearly you can see influences there in the Falcon. Um, all 400 of these cars received the exact same paint treatment, which was snow white and bold blue. And I did actually read somewhere that the blue paint was laid down first with a white laid over the top, which seems a bit weird to me, but maybe it's true. Maybe one of the specialists on this model can chime in and tell us. Uh, all 400 cars were fitted with front and rear spoilers. Uh, the front spoiler on this car is currently in the shed. It's not on the car, obviously. And all 400 cars had a set of 15 by 7 inch Bathurst Globe mags and again this car is fitted with aftermarket wheels but the globes are sitting in the shed and this car can be returned to its original factory spec at any time. Now there was a batch of a special batch of 31 cars that were basically a homologation special for Ford's racing program uh, which I'll get to in part two of this story. Uh, but those 31 cars had a hood scoop fitted and the rest of them just had the regular flat hood with the two snorkels in the front. Aside from that, the only difference on the exterior of the 400 cars was this little badge right here. And that is because roughly half the cars 
were fitted with a 302 cubic inch V8 and the other half had a 351. Roughly half the cars had a four speed top loader manual transmission and the other half had an automatic. And the 302 cubic inch cars were fitted with a Borg Warner rear end whereas the 351s all had a Ford 9 inch. And I believe all the cars had a limited slip diff and they all had four wheel disc brakes. Okay guys, let me show you the interior. So the door here. Now, aside from the small batch of homologation specials, all these cars were fitted with this special custom interior which features uh, this blue cloth insert on the seats. Uh, the homologation specials were fitted with shield front seats, lightweight seats, and uh, and they were black and so as a result the uh, the back seats on those cars just had black corduroy on them. This car right here, as you can see on the glove box door, this is number 121. Each car had its individual plaque attached to the, dashboard, uh, to the uh, glove box door. Number 121. So this car as you saw on the outside has the 5.8 or the 351 and as you can see there it's got the automatic transmission. I believe all the cars fitted with the 351 and auto came with power steering, power windows and air conditioning which is what this car here has. Now I wanted to show you something really cool. This car is actually owned by my buddy Daryl. He bought it back in 2001 and when he was driving up to go and look at the car to buy it his wife Shelley was told about this 118 scale Falcon Cobra model. Now this is one of 300 produced and as you can see this is also number 121 which is a pretty cool fact. So just going into the heart of the beast you can actually see this car here Daryl managed to get a personalized number plate with the car's number on it. So this is the heart of the beast, it's a 351, big Ford 351 Cleveland, I don't know what sort of power this produces, maybe in the region of 400 or so, plenty anyway. Uh, this one has actually been fitted with aftermarket rocker covers and air cleaner, but that's all cool, that can all be reversed if you need to. Right at the back here, and I don't know if you can make that out, but right at the back here is the chassis tag. and. Shown on the chassis tag is number 121, this car's number. So there you have it guys, that's part one of our story on the great Ford Falcon Cobra. Only 400 made, amazing cars, proper Aussie muscle car and a real collector vehicle among enthusiasts of Australian muscle cars and muscle cars in general. It's a rare beast, one of the rarest Fords you will find. Uh, in part two I'm going to cover the Cobra's racing program, uh, racing history in 1978. Uh, but for now, hope you enjoyed the story and uh, if you did please click like and uh, while you're at it go ahead and subscribe. Cheers guys, see you next time.